Help for patients with coronary stents who undergo additional surgery. That's next. At least a million people undergo coronary stenting procedures like this one each year. Physicians implant a mesh cylinder to open block coronary arteries. The stakes are really high once a stent's been placed uh, in the artery of the heart. And if a, if a stent clots, it either results in, in a heart attack or the patient dying. To keep that from happening, the patient is given medication which helps prevent the platelets from sticking to the stent and blocking blood flow. However, if a patient requires additional surgery, the medication must be stopped several days before the operation to avoid major bleeding. We don't have a way to, to bridge people right to the point of the operating room so they don't clot their stent in the days while you stop the medicines. Dr. Eric Topol from Scripps Translational Science Institute and co-authors conducted a randomized double-blind placebo-controlled trial. Researchers studied 210 patients in North America and Europe who needed open-heart surgery and who also had a recent coronary artery stenting procedure. It looks very promising that we've identified a way to help these people um, who have to have unanticipated surgery after a recent stent placement. Half the group was given a placebo. The other half was given the investigational medication Cangrelor. They got it for at least three days. The average was about five days before the moment of their operation. And we were testing to see whether or not we could inhibit their platelets, which are the cells that form a blood clot. The study appears in this week's JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. The results were pretty striking uh, on the side of being able to inhibit clotting. Uh, we were able to do that in all the patients virtually with this uh, medicine, Cangrelor, as compared to the placebo. Researchers also say the drug provided an additional benefit. We didn't run into the bleeding trouble. So usually when you wind up inhibiting platelets, these are strong, potent medicines, you might wind up inducing bleeding problems. So we were surprised to see that that was not uh, really an issue, and that was very encouraging. Catherine Dahl, The JAMA Report. We can't really stop the medicines because if we do that, the stent might clot while we're waiting for the surgery. So now we have a intravenous medication that was tested, which can be used in those days between stopping the oral medications and actually undergoing the major operation. It's not even just the unanticipated procedures. There's a lot of patients who know they need to have an operation, but their life is, is very much disrupted because of this oral medications required for the stents. Thank you.